This The Local Project video is sponsored by Roborock and their latest flagship robot vacuum, the S7 Max V Ultra. I'm Jeremy. I'm Scott. And we're the directors of Eldridge Anderson Architects. And this is our Janjuk Studio project, which functions as my own house and my family's house and also our studio space. Janjuk's about an hour and a half south of Melbourne, a surfing community predominantly. Lots of small fibro beach shacks that are now in the process of being redeveloped. We lived in a little house on this property for a number of years. One of the things we were drawn to was the idea of living under the gum trees. The exterior is probably quite subtle, doesn't give a lot away, and then as you sort of open up the front entry door, the rich timbers are revealed. The double height volume starts to reveal itself. There's the more quiet reflective spaces towards the south, so the bedroom areas. And then obviously upstairs, there's an office space. Because there's no walls that sort of touch the external walls, every room can be actually open to the next room, so they flow into each other. These elements are things that we really were keen to interact with. So the house itself isn't enormous, but I guess it's been one of our interests in some of our other projects as well, is to maximise what we're using. The definition between circulation space and room space is sort of a little bit more overlapped. So those things have all sort of combined in quite a special way, I think. It's not just how it operates, but it's how it looks and how it feels. Screens actually make up the entire perimeter of the house. They can be completely slid away to open to the landscape. And as you're adjusting them for privacy or depending on the weather, you're also changing the lighting levels and what's reflected or diffused. That subtle activation gives a sense of life rather than one shape or a form that is the same all the time. And in terms of the materiality of it, the timber battens are pre-aged and we actually did that ourselves over a number of months. They've taken on this sort of silvery quality, which also helps pick up on some of the landscaping elements. And then further to that, the actual structure itself, the doors, the floor is all recycled black butt. The black butt itself actually has a rich blondy sort of quality to it. The builders were real craftsmen on this project. They took real pride in their work, the connections, the way that the timbers all detailed. It's quite a beautiful thing. We actually started the design process while we were traveling through Japan. The proportion of the building, the finish of the materials, the really sharp connection to the inside and outside, those sort of things are elements that we picked up on and I suppose subtly referenced in this house. It didn't seem appropriate to build a house that took up the whole site and it's nice to let this landscape flow from one site to the next. We don't have a deck as such in this house, but the entire space is actually a deck when you slide the doors back, which gives that ability internally to just sit above the landscape and sort of survey the landscape. And it also becomes a backdrop for the shadows and the shapes of the vegetation around it. On a day like today, where we've got beautiful sun pouring in from the north, it's quite still. We're approaching winter here, and we've got sun 
deep into the building, filtering through the leaves, filtering through the battens. There's a poetic sort of quality to the way the sun dances through the building and changes through the day. It's quite a peaceful thing to be so connected to that. I think one of the aspects I'm most proud of this project is probably the architectural clarity that we've achieved. It's something that we've probably been refining and striving for over a number of years. The humble presence of the house, I think is a real success, especially down here. And there's a lot of development along the coast, but this place maintains a composure rather than a lot of moves. It's a singular idea that we feel like we executed in quite a refined way, which is something that we're quite proud of. This The Local Project video is sponsored by Roborock and their latest flagship robot vacuum, the S7 Max-V Ultra. The S7 Max-V Ultra is a highly intelligent cleaning system with top quality features such as a full automated dock that fills, washes and empties to make floor cleaning easy and effortless. Our homes are incredibly dynamic places, always in a state of constant change and movement. The Roborock is a highly intuitive vacuum system that uses reactive AI 2.0 obstacle avoidance to accurately process and recognize these changes in the home to clean effectively and safely. Through its highly advanced machine learning algorithms, the vacuum is able to process hazardous obstacles such as wires, power outlets, pet waste and fragile items and find the best way around. The S7 Max-V Ultra also includes a Vibrarize mopping system that scrubs your floors up to 3,000 times per minute with a consistent high pressure. If carpets and rugs are present, rest assured the S7 has an automatic mop lifting avoidance system that prevents them from getting wet. The idea of a camera roaming through your home may not be the most assuring one. However, the S7 Max-V Ultra is certified by third-party testing expert TUV Rhineland, ensuring a high cybersecurity and privacy protection level. The Roborock S7 Max-V Ultra is a highly reliable, intelligent system that ensures cleaning your home is easy and effortless. Head to the link in the description to learn more about the S7 Max-V Ultra and how seamlessly the system can be incorporated into your home.